I'm from Pakistan. Tanzania. Japan. Cameroon. Y soy de Perú. The UK. Toma. Bangladesh. Sort of a global citizen. We're a diverse world. Some countries are having increase in massive population. We need to reframe aging. Every generation of young people is a vector, is an engine of change. The data revolution in demography. There is a gap between fertility aspirations and fertility reality. Our world has been shaped by urbanization. How can we solve inequality? In 1994, leaders from over 170 countries came together and they made a commitment. If there is one thing the ICPD agenda has taught us is that we're a diverse world with diverse needs. The dialogue here for ICPD 30 is how do we navigate the mega trends and do so while still upholding the reproductive rights and health of women and girls. In a world grappling with conflicts and record humanitarian displacement, climate change, migration, and rising intolerance, and a surge of misinformation and disinformation, it is evidence and rights-based decisions that will shape the future of reproductive health and rights. <laughs> Manushe, Bishoshke, Ma, Shishu, O Boshko, Jono Goshti, Nyapata Nishit Kone, Boshik, Shojogita, Aro, Jordar Kote, Bishosh Babe, Dishti da Projon Bole, Ami Monikuri. From Cairo in nineteen ninety four to Nairobi in the year 2019, to this year in Cotonou and now in Dhaka. The message has been clear. The ICPD program of action remains evergreen, as relevant as ever across all demographic contexts. We can't wait another 30 years to fulfill the promise of Cairo. I want to live to see the actualization of the RCPD commitment. We need to act urgently and we need to act strategically. We must never lose sight of the original goals. So let's not abuse the term future. Well, the best time to plant a tree was yesterday and the second best time is today. If not now, then when? To make the ICPD POI real. <laughs>